hey hi all in this video uh, we will see what is a uh, recipe in say, uh, crm analytics so as we have already seen like what is data set and how we can create a data set to get all the record data or all the data from an org or to a data set in crm analytics uh, for an example if we have more than one data sets which we want to combine and if they share any common uh, unique ids or any foreign key in between so we can uh, we can get the data from all of the data sets and we can create a new data set for an example we want all the accounts and opportunities where uh, opportunity stage is closed one uh, within last month so we can get all the records of account and con uh, opportunities account will be a different data set and opportunity will be a different data set we will join them and then uh, on the stage basis we can get the number of accounts and uh, the related uh, data so to do that uh, and if we want any transformation in the data we can uh, we can also do that uh, using recipes in crm analytics so the uh, the source can be one or more data sets or connected objects when you run the recipe it applies these transformations which we will uh, which we require or which uh, which we want uh, the transformations to be in our data and uh, and it will output the result as a new target data set so just to demo it like for an example in this so we have one data set that is this this is this is a data set the another data set is this b so a and b are different data sets for an example this is a data set of account and this is a data set of opportunity we will create a recipe and in this in that recipe we will combine both this data sets there will be a unique id in this example it might be a uh, account id for an example because account id will be there in both the objects and then we can mention some of the transformations if we require uh, and the filtration if we require while uh, designing or while configuring that recipe and the output will be this this is a target data set so the transformation will be saved in c or uh, c data set for for an example and uh, there will be a job running when you save that uh, the recipe and when you run it there will be a job in the back end which will run you can uh, see that in the monitoring tab and once that job has been run then there will be a data uh, data set created in data assets so we will just go to org and i will show you how you can create a recipe so first we have to open the analytics studio then we have to go to a data manager there are multiple things which you which you can do while uh, configuring the recipe like uh, uh, means like it will be uh, which of join to the join out the join cross join or it will be a simple lookup and then uh, there can be multiple filtration criteria so for an example we will go to recipes i will go to new recipe <coughs> recipe you can add the input data input data will be a data set it can be data set it can be uh, connected objects data set just taking time to do okay. so now for an example i have taken accounts now uh, this is one of this is one of the data set that is account so all the account data will be there then you have to go to the join what you want to do if you join if you want to join it to another data set and get the extract the data from both the data sets 
and to create a new data set then you have to join it so for an example i will do some opportunities Take some time if there is so multiple that object and according to the network connection. Uh, so <coughs> now, as you can see, oh, it, the join type is lookup. You can define left join if you want uh, account data, right join if you want only opportunities data, inner join if you want all the records. Which, uh, which, um, spell of which, which are in that criteria, then you can use inner join not equal to that particular account ID which is shared by both the records, then you can use the of the join. So we have to just go to this and then the field which is common in both the studies. And I, I want only the records uh, which share the same, means like the account ID is same as the opportunity account ID. So I will just go to inner join. And then I will apply this. So join type is inner join. Uh, if you want to specify another criteria you can do that stuff here now once this has been done what you want i want another data set to be created the name of the data set will be Location you can specify whichever you want, then you have to just apply. Then here you have to just do this save and run. The name of the recipe will be computer the version description if you want like so to see the run status go to the monitor tab so this is the monitor tab you can go here and you can see the status like so all the things are pending as of now Transformation is pending, and then the output model of the new data set will be put. So we have to just refresh this page to know uh, what's the current status and how many records have been processed. If there is any record which is failed, if any of those failed, then we have to check that. So now it is running. So there was no transformation in our uh, recipe that's why there is no 
rows in and no rows out. Okay, so we have that instruction, right? Uh, to match all the records which are which are having the same account ID as well as in opportunities. So might be some of the records doesn't have account ID on opportunities. That's why it failed, or uh, they are not taken with consideration in that part. So in uh, upcoming video, we will showcase like uh, what is left join, what is uh, means like our right join, and what is inner and outer joins. To know like uh, how the data will be transformed uh, when we, we when we are using uh, this particular join type like uh, the inner join in this case we have used completed so now we have i have to go to data assets and i have to check whether the new data has been created or not okay so this is the new data set common data account and opportunity so this has been created i have to just go to explore From here, you can change the name of the data set and uh, the location if you want. And, uh, the data set has six, uh, successfully created and there are seven, seven or six rows. Out of uh, the total data was around 2,400 or uh, 2,413 records in accounts and uh, the common records are uh, seven or six. As we have used inner join the job type was in a join it may take some time to boot so this is how you can create a data set combining two data sets uh, and uh, as per your requirement and uh, then you can work on the particular data set which has been recently created like uh, the, tra the transformed data so this is the data which is uh, which have that particular common account id between both the objects account and opportunity then you can explore this according to your need you can add the filtration criteria as you want and uh, so Thank you. That's all for the day. Uh, in the upcoming videos, uh, in the upcoming video, I will uh, elaborate more about like uh, what are the different type of joins we have in recipe, and uh, what are the different filtration criteria, and uh, when we click on that plus sign, so there are different options. So what are they for? So stay tuned. Thank you.